Hello, today on this video I would like to explain you the method called by Uragirigi Jo. Uh, first of all, if we look at the etymology and the meaning of the kanji, Uragiri means uh, uh, betrayal or uh, to, to betray someone, and Jijo means circumstance or situation. This, uh, this method as is <coughs> related with what is Bato Jutsu. Uh, this uh, kind of betrayals, frustrations, will be performed in situations like that we are in a gathering and someone will be attacking by my back or by my side. And the reaction needs to be very characteristic because we don't have, we won't be wearing the, carrying the weapon on my left side, on my, on my obi, but we will be having our, our, our weapon, mainly our sword in this case, on our right side, and we need to create conditions to defend them. These Uragirigiyo are all the conditions to stop the betrayal and end with the, with the enemy that is threatening us. Then, in this case, I will be helped by uh, Sensei Rebecca Roca. She will be in on all this uh, scenario. We will be wearing several. Uh, he, she will be attacking me, trying to grab me, or trying to stab me in uh, different circumstances. For example, for first time, <coughs> she will try to grab me by my back. And when I notice that uh, she is coming to me, when you want, from here, I will grip the katana and I will strike firstly with the, uh, with the saya, satsaya chi, here. From here, I will take out the sword and I will place the sword here to control. From here, my saya will go inside and I will press in order to uh, make her fall. I could take out this, the saya, or, or place it and step on the saya to generate the control from here, go up with the saw and cut to end. Here we'll have one of the first techniques that could be, it's a very, very classical method from this uh, it's a very uh, classical sequence from this method. For example, the same way, if she tries from my back, if she tries to uh, stuff on my back, to, to stuff with the tanto directly, from here, I pull, come here, and block, and from here, go inside to protect. After here, I will need to I stop his uh, her uh, intention to come here, and from here I will draw the saw and I will cut one, and after here I will leave the saya on the side and end with final cut. With the same idea. The same kind of uh, stabbing backwards, for example, I could stop here, have control, plus completely my katana and make her to fall here. After here, I press, I could draw a tanto and also cut, but it could be uh, less characteristics. Uh, less characteristic for not being uh, uh, proper of this method. Then from here, draw the sole, stab, go up, and cut. Following with this method, for example, right now, if she tries to attack me, stabbing on Gyakute here on my neck. So to the camera, okay, very well. From here, when she tries to attack me, I will press here, and from here, I will go to the ground. From here, 
striking with the saya, drawing and cutting one more time. For example, right now, if I remain here, now facing to the camera, and she starts on, on my side, and for example, from here tries to attack me, also stabbing to me on my, here, on my, my spleen, from here I could go here, and uh, putting force over the wrist. Here I could draw the stuff here, and from here turn, go up, very carefully right now, cut in the neck. One more time, in this case, if she tries to ngyakute, to perform an attack on my neck here, from here, I block here, take the control on the wrist, from here, go inside and go down to the ground. After I have the control, I purse, go up and end the sequence sky on this side. Right now, one different attack. For example, she remains with the tanto and she tries to attack going here and trying to cut on my neck, on my back. From here, I will keep this control. From here, I will to this position. I will uh, knee down in order to control her knee. Rough here, this is very painful. We could remain taking out the tanto. And from here, go up and cut to end the technique. Then, with these sequences, we could find several ways, several methods to explain how to defend in situations that we are not properly uh, prepared for defending in this situation because we are in a formal situation that we need to have the sword on my right side to show respect to the people around and we are uh, betrayed by someone on our backs or in our, on, on by your side and we have shown several ways to apply this, this method. I hope that you have enjoyed, please keep watching our channel and see you next time.